Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims course play tutorial. Thank you so much for coming back for another episode. All right, so we are on a completely different map here. This is actually my old Goldcrest um, Valley Stevie's Edit uh, map that you guys haven't seen for quite some time. And I know that uh, Doughboy2913 is begging for me to basically pick this series back up and let you all know kind of how things worked out. But I'm um, not sure if I'll do that. Uh, I am kicking it around. I'm just not sure that there's really much interest in this because obviously this was with our manual versions of Seasons and now with the Seasons mod, um, etc. Anyway, but what I wanted to do, I wanted to show a little bit of a, a variety in the types of fields that Course Play works on. Obviously, in the, in the, uh, the tutorial that I did on plowing and seeding, uh, we sort of utilized Lawfold's map and we utilized a field that wasn't perfectly square or rectangular. Uh, rectangular. So obviously on Goldcrest Valley, just like on Pine Cove Farm, all the fields are either square or rectangular or some shape uh, there in between. And so course play works equally as well uh, for these types, of, these types of fields. And even so much so that in some of these cases, you don't even have to necessarily worry about headlands. So, you know, just kind of um, trial and error is going to be your friend uh, for the most part with these things. Um, so here we are, we're in our uh, big fent and in our bridal, bridal, um big uh, fertilized spreader. This is the, uh, the granular fertilized spreader versus a sprayer. And so basically it's pretty much the same of what we've been doing as far as uh, seeding and plowing and such. Um, we are gonna use fertilize and seeding mode. So again, it's the one with the squiggly line on the top and it looks like a uh, implement of some kind of trailer that's spreading or spraying something out uh, the back end. So we want to get on that one, make sure that's illuminated. We're going to come back over here just like we've done before, and we're going to find our field. So this is field number 12. Okay, so we're going to grab that. We're going to put that in here, dial that up, field number 12. We'll just take a look, and we'll see that we've got our blue border going around the perimeter of the field. That tells us that Course Play scanned this map correctly, and everything looks good to go there. Now, one thing that I failed to mention, and I'm so sorry uh, for that on my, on my uh, seating exercise, but if you click on this little calculator, uh, if you're doing a, um, a seating application, it will tell you a, a, how many um, uh, how many hectare acres this field is, so it's 4.82, and if we were using wheat, if we were going to seed with wheat, we would need 2,410 liters of wheat seeds at a cost of around $1,088 for that, and of course you can scroll through the different um, types and you can see that how each seed is a little bit different, 3,374 liters for canola, 1928 for uh, corn, uh, et cetera, uh, et cetera. So potatoes, 18,000 liters of potatoes. Um, that's quite a, quite a, quite a lot of potatoes. Anyway, um, but that is just something for you folks that uh, want to go back and look at that exercise on seeding. So we'll turn that off because um, we're not seeding today. We're actually fertilizing. Our working width is 24 meters. We can check that. Uh, but we know that this is a 24 meter uh, fertilized spreader. So looking at our map here, and I can pull up the larger map here and we can look at it together. Um, this field, obviously, we want to go lengthways. We want to make as, as few turns as possible. So it's going to be going the longest um, um, width across the field. So this over here is our northeast corner, and this is west, so that's what we want to do. We want to start in the northeast, and we want to go to the west. So northeast going to the west. Um, really for this field, we don't need to worry about a headland for this field. Um, the ends are wide enough that our tractor and our spreader can um, manipulate that just fine. So we're not gonna bother with headlands. You don't need to use a headland if you don't want to. Uh, basically, uh, you know, obviously the headland uh, functionality within course play really comes in handy when you're on fields that are not uh, perfectly square or rectangular and also where you have very tight 
uh, turning areas where you have hedges or fences or trees or something like that that's at the edge of the field then obviously a headland would work out well but we don't have to worry about that for this particular field or really on this map so we'll go ahead and do our course generation and then if we just want to pop over uh, well actually we bring up the eyeball here we'll get rid of the big map and you can see our starting uh, is over here and our ending is over here and it's basically just going to be pretty straightforward down back down back so on and so forth all right so um, we don't need to do a return to first point he's going to finish over here which is fine and um, we can always use four wheel drive is also fine to have that activated we can just look at our course creation here that's fine we can get rid of that we can get rid of that and um, and of course we could name it so we can come over here and we can go um, F12 FERT we're going northeast to west and this is 24 meters and there is no headland so I'll just do time zero since that's sort of in my naming uh, convention that will just tell me that there's no headlands we'll hit return to save it and we are ready to go so we will spin our camera around here and we'll pull our camera out just a little bit and uh, go ahead and get this set on first waypoint and we'll just help the driver around and he will be good to go and he will have plenty of fertilizer to do uh, to do this field so let me uh, get the camera out from behind the pine tree and we'll do drive course and he will pull up to his first waypoint and then off he goes there you go that's it that's all you need to do for fertilizing using course play um, pretty much a lot of the easy tutorials are are now done um, and we're going to start getting into a little more complex stuff where we're setting up multiple courses to handle uh, tasks on our farm but I did want to go ahead and cover uh, plowing, seeding, and fertilization for you guys so that you can get started on your farms and then as we have more tasks that we need to accomplish then we'll get some tutorials created for those so look for those in the coming weeks thank you all so much for watching I do appreciate it. We'll just stay with our guy here, uh, or gal, as he or she uh, does his turn maneuver. As you can see, each turn maneuver is a little different. Um, so obviously, he or she pulled up to the edge of the field, backed up, came up, and is now pulling forward. He or she will back up to the edge of the field, and then turn the spreader on, and then off they go again. So pretty straightforward, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you so much for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.